Here is a parathyroid. Parathyroid glands are very small. They only weigh about, oh, let's say 25 milligrams. As you can see, uh, often, and certainly in this case, uh, half of this is fat as well. Um, the parathyroid gland produces one hormone called parathyroid hormone. It has exactly the opposite effect of uh, calcitonin from the thyroid. So whereas calcitonin uh, takes calcium and puts it back into bone, parathyroid hormone takes calcium from bone and puts it into the blood. And that's why proliferations of parathyroid tissue like uh, hyperplasias due to various causes or benign tumors, which they almost always are, produce hypercalcemia. Uh, parathyroid disease is usually picked up by uh, screening for uh, blood chemistries and finding elevated calciums in people that have no other reason to have elevated calciums. The parathyroid gland, besides having a nice fibrous capsule, which you could see here, and a little bit of fibrous tissue like you see here and here, and fat and blood vessels, has two kinds of cells. The cells that you see chiefly are called chief cells. And all of these cells here, which look, you know, like endocrine cells, perhaps sometimes looking like they form little follicles, but the chief cell of the parathyroid is the chief cell. The uh, second most common type of cell, which is considerably less than the chief cells, are these red cells. They are called oxyphil cells. So the chief cells and the oxyphil cells are the uh, active cells of the parathyroid. And I believe that the chief cells are even more active, but don't uh, bet your life on it. Here's a nice, good size vein. Here's an artery. Here's another vein. Here's fat. Here's chief cells. There might be a couple little oxyphil cells scattered here and here and here and here and maybe here. Uh, here's might be a remnant of a capsule, and here's the largest group of oxyphil cells that you see in this particular gland. And let's zoom in on it, a couple more pops, and uh, we'll see that clearly the oxyphil cells uh, stand out like sore thumb because they are very red. They have a lot more cytoplasm. And uh, otherwise, the nuclei of the oxyphil cells look a lot like the nuclei of the chief cells. Uh, but the oxyphil cells have much more cytoplasm and are, the cytoplasm is much redder. So all of these critters here are oxyphil, 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 oxyphil. And all of these guys, uh, and we're at the highest power, looking a little bit more boring, are the chief cells. Notice also something I really should have pointed out about thyroid or endocrine in general, is that the endocrine tissue in your body can have considerable nuclear variation. You can have really, really big, dark looking cells, which the neophyte might say, hey, are these nuclei malignant? Atypical, dark, irregular, bumpy uh, nuclei are very, very common in all normal endocrine tissue. Uh, so let's forget about the pathology and just say this is the world's most classical uh, parathyroid gland having a lot of oxyphil cells here and a lot of chief cells here and a few chief cells here and a few oxyphil cells here. And there's really nothing I want to say except thank you.